Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a new in homeware accessories haul. Over the past few months, since we knew we were moving, I've been collecting little bits and bobs here and there. I've got some pieces ranging from kitchen to bathroom, and then just like little decorative bits in between. Each thing does kind of have a purpose, um, and I haven't just bought things willy-nilly going into H&M Home and buying tons of things. I've actually thought quite carefully about the pieces and how they all look together because I want this space to feel quite refined. One thing that me and Jack both have in common is we love minimal, really clean, not empty, but stylized spaces that don't feel cluttered and everything has got a purpose. So that's probably the main running theme throughout our place. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with things for the kitchen first because I could not wait to start buying things for the kitchen. Having your own kitchen just feels so amazing. So, in the kitchen, obviously, we need plates. So let me share with you the plates that we picked up. We actually just got these last week and I don't know about you, but I'm quite fussy about small things like this and me and Jack just could not find any crockery that we liked everything was amazing but just oh, it just wasn't right so um we actually got these in our local waitrose in kind of like the john lewis home section a really small tiny little section of the aisle but these were exactly what we wanted so the bowl is the perfect size for cereal desserts i love this kind of size bowl and we also got the pasta bowls as well. I actually really like eating off of these kind of bowls. And then the plate was kind of what we were struggling with because a lot of plates had textures to them. Some of them have like um, a big rim around the edge, which we didn't like. It kind of reminded us of school dinner plates. We just wanted something really simple. And I absolutely love this clean lip to the edge i think it looks really modern it does look really expensive as well even though these were so affordable okay another plate that i picked up i really like having individual um kind of different plates in my collection and i picked up this one from h&m home a few months ago now and it's got a gold rim around the edge which i absolutely love and i've seen everywhere recently um, it's also quite an irregular shape, so I think it's quite interesting for the eye to look at on a table. I picked up two of these, mainly just to see what they were like. I wanted to see the colour of them, see them in the space, etc. But I definitely think I will get some more, so I've got a set of four. And possibly the bowls as well. But one thing I would say is I wouldn't recommend putting these in the dishwasher because I think the gold would come off very quickly. So I would definitely wash these by hand. Next up in the kitchen, I really wanted to get some cool salt and pepper shakers for when we've got guests, when we host dinners, we can have them in the middle of the table and you can have them out in the kitchen and they look like an ornament. I love these. I found these in H&M Home. They are solid marble, really heavy salt and pepper shakers and they just look insane. I love them. They look so slick, really cool. They almost just look like an ornament as opposed to a salt and pepper shaker. But we've been using these and they are great. So moving on to kind of like the dining area. We haven't actually got our dining table yet. We're still unsure what we want. It just, it takes so long, doesn't it, to pick everything you want. But I have picked up a few little accessories already. So this is a really beautiful linen tea towel. And this is from H&M Home. So affordable, just really gorgeous. I just think things like this in the kitchen add a little bit of texture. Our kitchen is really modern and it's super plain. So I wanted to add some really nice textures like this into it, just to give it a bit more of like a homely country feel. Another thing I really wanted to get for the table were some gorgeous napkins. And H&M Home were killing it the other month when I went. They had these white linen napkins. They come in a set of two. So I picked up three sets. So we've got six here. And yeah, I just love them. Super white, crisp linen napkins. Another thing that I have really wanted for a long time is cool coasters. Now, these I think are so good for our space. We have a white marble coffee table and we will also probably get a white marble dining table as well, just because I really love the surface. It's a little bit more interesting, 
but it's very minimal and white so you can do a lot to the table. I'd much rather have a light background or a light canvas and then add darker accents. So I got these again H&M Home charcoal marble coasters. I just think these are incredible. They are really really heavy stone circles and they've got little rubber bits on the bottom so they don't move on the table or anything. These came in a set of four and again the price is just so good. I will link all of these pieces down below in case you want to pick anything up. Um, especially from H&M Home because they just fly off the shelves so quickly. So fingers crossed, they're all still available. Another thing that I have wanted for my kitchen for so long is a really lovely hand soap and hand cream. This was actually a gorgeous gift from Nadia and Johnny. They sent us a little Selfridges hamper with some moving in presents, which was so lovely of them. And they actually have this by their sink, both of these. And every time I go around, I use them and I probably say a hundred times, oh my God, this smells amazing. These are so cool. And these are the Diptyque soap and hand cream holders. They're solid glass, so they're really thick, really heavy. They just look so cool and I love them so much. They also smell incredible. And what I really love about these is that they're refillable. So Nadia told me that I can get um, some refillable pouches so I can keep the glass bottles and just refill them with the soaps. So I really wanted to have um, a tray to put the soaps on just so it looks a little bit more stylized on the side. And I picked up this one from H&M Home again. I didn't realize how many things I've got from there actually. Really good price. I feel like I'm just gonna keep saying that. This was 17 99 which is just crazy. It's so heavy and weighty and it just looks so expensive. Okay, next, let's talk about glassware. I just, this video is making me realize how much I just love interior details. It's just all in the details. It really brings the space together. As you can probably hear, it's really empty in here and it's very echoey. So soft furnishings and little details just really tie the whole place together. Glassware was really important to me. I wanted people to come around and it's the kind of thing I notice, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you have a wine glass and you love it, you wanna know where it's from, you ask the waiter, I don't know, I always do stuff like that, I don't know if that's weird. For me, it's the small details that make things feel a lot more luxurious, a lot more special. So, for Christmas, Jack's brother and sister actually bought us a few pieces from Firm Living, and oh my God, I just love Firm Living, it's unbelievable. I have been lusting after this set for the longest time. They bought us the ribbed water carafe, which, oh, how insane is this? It's so lightweight, it's so delicate. I love the texturing, the way that the light hits it. I know that in the spring summer, I'm gonna use this loads on my desk, have some chopped lemons, cucumbers in here for water. Insane, I'm obsessed. And then they also got us a set of these tall ribbed drinking glasses, which again, are just so cool, so slick, so elegant. And we've actually been using these loads already. They're really nice to drink from because the rim is really thin. Then another special gift from them, they gave us these beautiful champagne coupe glasses. Coupe, is that how you say? Coupe, coupe. Um, and I just love these. They really remind me of 1920s, like Great Gatsby kind of vibe. They're very cool. Although I wouldn't say they're the most practical champagne glass to drink from when you're clumsy like me because I, you don't realize how much is in here and it just flies out. One literally wrong turn and the champagne's going everywhere. So I use these for special occasions and I just think they are gorgeous. Me and Jack love crystal and we love like really heavy weighted pieces. One thing that we love about staying in Soho houses is that they have drinks bars in every single room and the crystal, the thick, chunky glasses, they just look so cool. And kind of like old school, old world, I really like them. But we actually found these on Amazon. Oh my God, so affordable and they are so cool. So we got the shorter tumbler, but we also got the taller glasses. These are just for waters, like if I have gin and tonics in these ones. Um, I really like having amaretto toffee vodka on ice sometimes at the weekends. So these would be perfect for that as well. Okay, let me move on to the bathroom. So we picked up a couple of bits for the bathroom. One, of course, being towels. This was probably the only thing we got in the Black Friday sales. Loads of new towels. I really wanted to 
kind of invest in a little bit more of a pricier towel. Um, so we went to the White Company and we treated ourselves to four huge bath towels and then we also got a couple of the smaller hand towels. I use these for my hair as well, which are quite handy. They're just so soft and fluffy and we've got a heated towel rail so when you get out of the shower or the bath and you put your warm fluffy towel on, oh, I feel like a baby. And then we also just got a little bath mat as well. Well, I say little, this is actually huge. Um, it's actually way bigger than we need, but yeah, we picked up a bath mat as well. Just really handy. And the floor in the bathroom is kind of like a gray tile, so it can get quite slippy. Again, super soft. And I love white, I just think you have to have white towels, white linens, they just look so fresh, so clean. We have another one of those marble trays in the bathroom. We have another one of these trays in the bathroom and I use that to keep our perfumes on on the side. So we keep um, just a couple of the fragrances that we're wearing at the minute so it doesn't get super cluttered and um, I keep the fragrances balanced on there so it just houses them together a little bit. Obviously next to your sink you need to have a hand wash and a hand cream and another gorgeous Christmas gift. I feel like our family just did so well with the gifts this year. I think maybe it's because some of them asked us what we wanted and we said bits for the house and they just know us so well. My brother and his girlfriend got us this beautiful set from Byredo. If you know me, you know how obsessed I am with Byredo. I could honestly only buy Byredo for the rest of my life. I'd probably be bankrupt because it's so expensive. But it's just beautiful and I'm so all about little luxuries in your life. Don't save your best things for next week or a special occasion. I use my best things every day. I just think you have to. Another thing for the bathroom, which is kind of unnecessary, but this is something that I always tend to do and I used to do a lot at home. We don't have great storage in the bathroom. I've actually just ordered some drawers, so I'll update you in the vlogs what they look like. Um, so I always keep my toiletries that I use every day in a wash bag and it just makes everything look a lot neater, it looks quite tidy and because that bathroom is also our guest bathroom, it's the bathroom that anyone would use when they come round, I wanted it to feel really empty and clean and not cluttered with all of our products. So for Jack's birthday present I bought him this wash bag, he hasn't got a wash bag so um, I treated him to this Louis Vuitton one. Just so classic, really simple, really elegant, timeless, looks really chic. And we keep all of our everyday products in here. I've got my <laughs> Spotlight Oral Care toothbrush, Jack's toothbrush, like, um, yeah, just all of our kind of everyday bits and bobs in here. And it just keeps it nice and organized. And a really good tip if you wanna keep clutter off your shelves, pop them in a gorgeous wash bag and it just instantly elevates the room. Okay, moving on to a few little random accessories that I've picked up. I didn't go too crazy on buying loads of candles and decorative things because I didn't really know what surfaces we were gonna have in here. Turns out we're actually gonna have quite a lot in the flat by the time we've bought all of our side units and things like that. So I'm gonna need to stock up. Maybe I'll do a part two in a few months when I've got a couple more bits and bobs. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But one thing I really wanted was some really gorgeous candlestick holders. I love candlesticks. I think they're a really cost-effective way to burn candles. I love having candles on. They really set the mood. They make me feel so calm, so relaxed. And I just love doing things by candlelight when it gets a little bit darker, especially in the winter. So I picked up these candlestick holders from Zara Home. They're kind of like a hammered cast iron, gorgeous charcoal, almost like a brown actually. Really lovely, they look really antique, kind of industrial. These were 19.99 each from Zara Home. Another gorgeous gift. I feel like all of these pieces have been gifts, but we've just had so many lovely things. Nadia actually bought me this candle for my Christmas present. It's a diptyque candle. I cannot pronounce this for the life of me. Feu de boy? I don't know. Um, but it's the scent that smells like open fire. Honestly, oh, it smells so nice. What I love about these is that when you've burnt them all, you can use these as pots, you could use them as little vases, whatever you want. They just look so cool. So thank you, nuts. Okay, last but not least, I'm just gonna share a couple of candle accessories with you. These are both from Amazon. 
First thing is this electric lighter. I got this on Amazon for Jack's stocking, actually. So inexpensive and it's so cool. You just light. It's literally just, it's so easy to light candles. You don't have to have matches. It looks really slick, very cool. And the other thing is a candle wick cutter. I didn't realize how important it is to cut your candles, especially your expensive ones. You don't want loads of gray smoke coming off your candles. So if you just make sure you cut the wick, then you're all sorted and it keeps your candles nice and clean. I really like these because they're black. I just think they look quite cool if you wanted to display them with your candles on a tray or something like that. I just keep these in the cupboard for the minute, but yeah, they look really cool. That brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And do let me know down in the comments if there's anything in particular you would like to see. I've just placed a really big Amazon order. So I'm thinking about doing what I bought from Amazon um, for the home. Loads of just little tips and tricks, storage bits and bobs. So let me know if you'd like to see that. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.